Acting audition tips, how to answer the dreaded, tell me about yourself. Acting is attracting. Let's move forward, together. Now. Help! Hi, I'm Nick Dunning. I help actors just like you go from struggling actor to thriving actor at the push of a button. I've helped 3,567 actors just like you get more acting work since 2008. So what do you say? Giving the wrong answer will cost you acting work. So what do you say? In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how you can fix this. When this happened to me for the first time, what I had to do was I had to go into a commercial for lager beer and just say, harp stays sharp to the bottom of the glass. So I was going over my mind, over the lines in my mind all the way through, so sitting down outside, harp stays sharp to the bottom. I was going over my lines all the time. That's what I was doing. And I went into the room and suddenly there was a cameraman there and the cameraman was pointing the camera directly at me. And I suddenly, and the director ambushed me and he said, so Nick, tell me about yourself. And I went, um, I, uh, well, I, I, I'm, I'm an actor. So do you think this is an important skill to learn? And why do they do it? They want to know how you come across. Are you open to direction? Are you ready to play? Are you someone they can work with for a good period of time? Well, the top three reasons that they ask this question is, number one, they want to get a sense of you, your personality and your energy. They want to know if they can work with you. Are you a good fit with them and their team? You, it might be for a commercial, it might be one day's work, it might be for a TV role, it might be for a long running series. If they're going to work with you for 12 months or a year or even longer, they really need to know who you are. They want to get, to get a sense of you on camera. They want to find out how you come across. Are you open to direction? Can you take notes? Are you ready to play? Are you fun? Are you fun to be around? Number three, they want to see you tell a story because that's what we do, right? We tell stories. And remember, they want to connect with you and remember you. So the way you can do this is just very simply, very lightly, tell a simple, amusing anecdote or mini little story, tiny one. And to help you frame this in a new way, imagine you're going in to meet a long lost friend. Now, the big mistake here, the things that you can avoid saying is, well, you probably know that the camera does not lie. So what you say and how you say it is really important. So what you're thinking and feeling shows up on screen and they're going to be filming you as you say this, right? So best thing you can do, move away from anything negative. Move away from any kind of complaining. Move away from neediness and desperation are your big takeaways. Expect this question. Learn to love this question and appreciate it because it's an opportunity for you to shine and share your gifts and your talents. So avoid coming over as needy or desperate. Do something that lightens the atmosphere, that makes people feel good. And when you feel good, they'll feel good. And then they will remember you. You'll be doing everyone a service. You'll be helping them, you'll be helping you, and you will book more acting work. So I look forward to seeing you soon, guys. See you on set. Now look guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you did, please do me a favor and like, comment, subscribe and turn on the notifications. Bye now. Uh...